Up next on Speak to That, comedian Trina Jeffrey speaks on life as a Christian comedian. Welcome to Speak to That, where we give hope to the hopeless, help to the helpless, and faith to the faithless. Today, you are for a special treat. Y'all ready to laugh? I'm yes. talking about you're going to laugh, yes. laugh, yes. laugh. Good so hurt laugh. Good hurt <laughs> laugh. <laughs> so we have with us today Trina Jeffrey. Trina Jeffrey. She is just not Trina Jeffrey. Come on now. She is the <laughs> first woman Christian comedian. She has traveled all around the world. She has done poetry. She has done plays. She has been all around just doing all kinds of things, getting all kinds of awards. Mm. I mean, she is out there just doing it. Just doing it. Just doing it. it. Mm. So how did that come about with you being the first Christian <sighs> comedian? Well, uh, I started back in 1986. Okay. 1986. Mm. I, uh, well, I won my first oratorical contest in the third grade. Okay. Aww. And started writing my own pl uh, right. little plays and skits and things like that. So... When uh, I was doing this at my church, mm -hmm. um, my pastor said, we're going to have a Founders Day dinner, okay. and I want you to come and be uh, a part of it. Okay. He said, I don't want to see nothing you've already done. I want you to write <laughs> something totally different. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Lord have mercy. <laughs> so I started writing and everything, and, in, and in, in my writing, I always do funny stuff. I've always been you know, crazy funny. And so I came to the Founders Day dinner, and I was sitting outside, and I was like, okay, what can a name be? Mm -hmm. Television, does it talk too much? I don't know what a name could be. So I walked in, and I started doing this character. Okay. And my, uh, in my, in my, talking to myself, okay. because that's how I would do, I would do all the pieces of the, per of the puzzle, and I said, my name, and they had eaten everything, it was a banquet, so okay. they had eaten everything on the table, but the cantaloupes. Mm -hmm. And I said, cantaloupe. Wow. Sister Cantaloupe from the church. And everybody was like, ah, oh, God, God, they <laughs> laugh and laugh. And so in, in, inside the skit, mm -hmm. I was uh, visiting a, a, a woman at, at the hospital, okay. and I made her feel worse than she did when I when, when I got there. Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, what they say you got? Mm -hmm. Really? You know, I had an uncle that had right, that right. and died, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I bust hit him, but he had it when he died. Uh -huh. So, yeah. So I just started doing all the right there. So yeah. there was a... Uh, a DJ there, okay. and his name was a Seattle State Jackson. He he laughed and laughed. So after the show, he said, "I want to invite you to our to my musical." Now I'm from Texas, right, right. so you know in Texas, every yeah musicals were like if you got to invite to a musical, you right. were you almost you made it. Like, yeah. search, girl. I'm like star search. Take so he said, on. "Come to the music." So I was waiting for him to call. He never called. Huh. Finally, the month came. He said. Hey Trina, this is mm -hmm. a Seattle State. I want you to come to my musical mm -hmm. and do what you did at the at the bank. I said, "Okay." He said. Today, we're going to introduce our very first Christian comedian. Mm. I said, oh, man, I thought I was next. Uh, oh. And I sat down because I, I thought he was introducing yeah. somebody else. Right. So he said, Trina Jeffrey. I said, comedian? Mm. What? So I came out. I did my same skit. Right. Everybody laughed. They, they fell out. I was, instead of having cards back then, we just had pieces of paper and a pen. Yeah, yeah. And said, give yeah. me your number. I was writing it down, <laughs> turning it out, turning it out to people. And, yes. And so then I started in my neighborhood, you know, different neighborhood churches. And then I, I started doing more around in Dallas. And then I got in Texas, went to Houston. Mm -hmm. And then I finally flew to uh, New Jersey and stayed mm -hmm. in New Jersey. And Dr. Bobby Jones was on TV. I had never oh, yeah. seen it. Had never seen it before in my life. Mm -hmm. And he says, I'm Dr. Bobby Jones. <laughs> and I want you on my show. And I said, me? <laughs> now, bro, I'm 20-something. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm thinking so he's, he's like, been talking to me. Right, right. So I called the station. Mm -hmm. Say, I like, I'm, I'm, my name is Trina Jeffrey. I want to be on your show. I'm a comedian, a Christian comedian. So he said, so I didn't get any, any you know, it was a recording. Right. So my aunt said, okay, I'm leaving. Don't mess with my phone. She mm. was very strict. She was kind of like sergeant, you know, <laughs> very strict. Don't mess with my phone. And I kept Sorry. thinking, I kept thinking, oh my God, I know he called me. I know right. he called me. So I listened to the voice of my anyway. He said, this is Dr. Bobby Jones. Oh. I would love to have you on my show. Wow. So I went on his show. And I didn't even know what stand-up comedy was. Mm -hmm. I was just doing me. Wow. Right, right. And he said, my show is only 30 minutes. You can't do a 30-minute set. <laughs> it leaves no room for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he said, I want you to go home. Because that was my first time. Right. He said, I want you to go home. I want you to figure it out. Mm -hmm. And do some, and learn how to do stand-up and mm -hmm. come back. Wow. And I was, I was torn down. I was mm -hmm. crying because yeah. I thought I had messed up. He said, no, you're not messed up. You know, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Go home and do it. Came back to the show. Mm -hmm. I, I learned from, um, what's his name? Um, 
What's the name? Uh, um, 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 um. Not Eddie Murphy. <laughs> uh, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Oh, okay. Bill Cosby. I, I studied Bill Cosby. I studied um, Whoopi Goldberg. I was trying to find any comedian that wasn't doing a lot of cursing. Okay. Because okay. there was nobody out there. Right. It right. was just me. Right. Wow. And so I was like, okay. So I learned how to internalize the comedy instead right. of acting it all out. Okay. So I, I brought it together and I, and I went back to the show and killed and he wow. was like, this is what I'm talking about right mm. here. And then he introduced me to the world. Wow. And that's how I became Sister Cantaloupe. Wow. And, wow. and got my uh, record, I got a record deal from it and right. all of right there. And then started just traveling around mm. the world doing stand-up as Sister Cantaloupe. Wow. So now, was it hard for you to keep it clean? No. I have been a church girl all my life. <laughs> okay. I, have, I did my homework in church. I got my first kids in church. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that stuff. Anyway, you know, a church girl all my life. My right. aunt, my aunt raised me, mm -hmm. and uh, cause I was, you know, my my mother took sick when I was a baby, so I was like in and out of different foster mm -hmm. care. Mm -hmm. And so my aunt finally took me and she played for all the churches. She even played for the Church of Christ and they don't have music, you know, right. instruments. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> so I learned from being in all these different churches mm -hmm. the, how people were. Right. How the Baptist mm -hmm. people were. Baptist people will put Jesus to work in every song they mm -hmm. sing. Mm -hmm. They will. They say mm -hmm. stuff like Jesus, mm -hmm. build a fence mm -hmm. all around me yeah, every yeah. day. I'm thinking mm -hmm. to myself, they got to build this fence every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, yeah, what they do with their fence from yesterday? Why do you have to keep building yeah, all these fences? Yes. Go. And then, uh, so I, I, I've always been a Christian girl. They mm. call me the church girl anyway. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I when I, when, in, in all my skits, I did everything, a, a circle around church, you know, everything like that. So it was just yeah. one step over, you know, just right. doing stand-up comedy as a Christian comedian. Everybody like, I never heard of you making fun of God when I first started out, y'all. Mm. It wasn't easy. Okay, right. Mm. Uh, cool. Pastors and everybody like, right. oh, that's buffoonery. Uh, you're mm. making fun of God. Mm. Right. God ain't mm. in that. Mm. And I had one pastor told me, his son invited me. Mm. But the pastor himself called me and said, I'm going to tell you this. If you say anything, if you do anything, I will pull you down in front of all those people. I said, yes, sir. I said, okay. <laughs> he said, I promise you, he said, it, it better all be Christian. I'll be so I got up and I started doing my comedy and he was right there. And you know, that's pressure on you. Right. Yes. you know, like, oh, yes. oh my God, what is happening? But just yeah, say it, I say. So I started doing he was laughing so hard. I walked over to him, I said, get up, get up oh. off the floor. Who who you gonna pull down there? <laughs> <laughs> Baby. And he fell out laughing. And then I had another guy. Older guy, he was like almost a hundred years old. Mm. He told, I'm serious. He was like a, almost a hundred. He said, um, he said, uh, no, we're not gonna have any Christian comedy at our conference. No, no, we're not having that. Mm. So he stopped it. So all the tickets stopped selling. And he was like, mm. he asked his son. He said. Uh, his grandson said, "Why isn't anybody coming?" He said, "Because they were coming to see Sister Cantaloupe, mm. but you stopped. You stopped it, so nobody's coming. Oh, wow. So he allowed me to come, so the people could come. Oh. And he told me the same thing. If you, if anything, blah blah blah." He went to sleep mm. while I was doing my car. He's 100 oh, years old. Oh <laughs> so uh, we, I, I went over there to him, yeah. too. Told, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> well, I need you to hear this so you know that I'm good. And so, <laughs> but different churches was like that all throughout my whole, you know, the first part of my career. Door, shut them in your face, put out the pulpit, mm. you know, just, I went through a lot. So Christian comedians today don't know that. Is that so? That's why, because I know you have an award that you get out, give out every year to mm -hmm. an upcoming, an upcoming, upcoming comedian. Yes. yes, because so. they don't know the journey that we went through. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, and it wasn't just me; it was me, Broderick, and Jonathan Slocum. Okay, and we all came out at the same time, but I was the first mm -hmm. to um, to do a recording. Oh, okay, and then mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan and Broderick them tried to jump the gun and get before me, but I was still wrote down in the records that I was the first. The first comedian. First comedian. Not first just a Christian. woman, but yeah. you was the first, first comedian. Christian comedian. Yeah. Christian. Wow. Yeah. I, I was, uh, wanted to touch on when you uh, asked your question, you mm. speak upon, speak to that, yeah. how your, your pastor, Mm -hmm. He spoke to the gift that was in you. Yes. Meaning that you were already moving. Right. But then he allowed it to, uh, what's flourish. the word? Was it? Flourish. Flourish. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. to flourish you, to you, a higher level. You yeah, you hit up on something right there because the pastor died was, he was Church of God in Christ. You, mm -hmm. know, you know how they are. Mm -hmm. You know how they are. Mm -hmm. You know how they are. Mm -hmm. I love you, Church of God in Christ, but you know how you are. <laughs> <laughs> She's a comedian now. She's a Christian comedian. She's a comedian. <laughs> so, uh, at that time, women wasn't that 
you know, present in the church. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, it was like, you know, be spoke to, speak right. when you're spoken to kind of mm-hmm. thing. And so my, when people started inviting me, my pastor said, no. No, I, I, you're not ready to go out. He thought I was, because I look so young, mm-hmm. he thought I was a child. Okay. And at the time, I was 26. Mm-hmm. And he said, no, I don't want, he, his, I, didn't, I thought he was trying to stifle me, uh-huh. but he was trying to protect me. Mm-hmm. And he said, I don't want anybody hurting you. I want anybody mm-hmm. saying anything to you. He said, right. no. And I was like, no, Pastor Barbara. <laughs> and so I'm just fighting against it, trying mm-hmm. to get out there. And when I got out there, I saw what he meant because mm-hmm. all the pastors were like, no, you mm-hmm. know, they, they did me like that. Right. Okay. And that was the reason okay. that he was saying no. Right. He was like, no, not yet. And then he then he allowed me to go. Right. Okay. When he thought I was ready, he allowed mm. me to go. And then I just started going everywhere. God just blessed with all the doors just started opening. Mm. And, and yeah. with that, going all around, mm-hmm. you received a, a award, the, actually the, the Lifetime Achievement Award from President, from uh, President, President Barack Obama. Obama. Yes. Well, prior to that, I when Bill Clinton was in office, oh. I, opened, I opened for Bill Clinton. Mm. I opened up for his... Um, he had a what, what do you call the um, when he's getting nominated for to be a uh, the president mm-hmm. that yeah, right there I've, 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 inauguration inauguration, <laughs> inauguration. <laughs> I performed for the inauguration okay uh, yeah. I did all of that right and then and then I um I from that everybody was like you the first I'm, I'm in the encyclopedia as the first wow. um, right. first yes, female yes, black yes. Uh, Christian comedian wow. and then I and I changed it to gospel only okay. simply because mm-hmm. not only do I go to Baptist churches I go to church of God, God in Christ church of Christ everything mm-hmm. and so I met a Jew mm-hmm. and he said Christian comedian he said what does they have to do with me mm-hmm. and I said what does that mean he said I'm a Jew mm-hmm. so I said Christian Okay, I understand that. So I went in the Bible and I read gospel means good news. Mm. So I changed it to gospel comedian okay. so that I could go to anyone. Oh, so yeah. it wasn't like I could only go to the Baptist because Baptist right. was associated with Christian. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I did I did gospel. So And, and since you've been all around the world, yes. and we got the world watching, the viewers, mm-hmm. could you look there and just tell them, give them something that would encourage them, speak to their spirit, speak to their heart. Mm-hmm. Where they may be to whatever's on your heart that you want to speak to our viewers. I give them hope, help, yes. and faith. I I want to tell you that a lot of times when people tell you you can't do, they they're only speaking to their own self because they feel like they cannot do. Mm-hmm. I've been Sister Candle for almost twenty years, okay. and I thought I could not do stand up as Trina because okay. of um, that character had overshadowed my life. Mm-hmm. And I moved to California and thought to myself. I want to show people who I am from behind the scene. Mm-hmm. And I started doing stand up as Trina. Mm-hmm. And <coughs> people said you couldn't do it. You mm-hmm. oh no, you got to you got to be Sister Canelo, but I don't have to be that. That's right. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you the same thing. That's you don't it. have to be people put labels on you yeah. and try to make wow. you into and keep yes. you in that mold mm-hmm. and keep you in that box because that's what they used to right. having mm-hmm. you as. Ooh, but what you got to do is you got to walk outside that yeah. box. You yeah. got to take the top off. And you got to jump out like Jack in the box mm-hmm. yeah. and tell them I can do what all things through Christ yeah. that strengthens me. Right. So I say good. to you, mm-hmm. speak to that thing that's inside of you. That, yes. that 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 little girl that little boy mm-hmm. that says you can't do it right i say you can do it right. i did it and god has blessed it and he's allowed me to go all around the world speaking that word mm-hmm. to everybody speaking laughter like is that. like medicine wow. That's good. wow it's good for the heart yes and if you could wow. tell the people because i know you have different things coming mm-hmm. up if you can let the viewers know how can they get in contact with you and, yes. and you want to mention a, a, a thing or two that what you have coming up yes uh, i just had my first Booking as Trina. Okay. Because it unwrapped. Ooh, yeah. Trina. At Trina in a month, uh, was it Montana? And uh, did, did got paid for it, girl. All right, now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, make room for you. That's girl. always good. You can make room for <laughs> you. But uh, coming up, I have the Junior Black. The Junior Black Academy of Arts and Letters. Okay. Uh, it's in Dallas, Texas. It's downtown, and it's going to be in the cafe. And I'm doing stand up Trina. That's why okay. I said all that because mm-hmm. yeah. I'm doing stand up Trina at the Junior Black Academy Arts and Letters. Tickets are only fifteen dollars. Um, you can call the Junior Black Academy and get all the information and the details. And uh, if you want to call me, my number is one eight hundred. 970 9820. That's 1 800 Call me, leave a voicemail message. It is not a phone. Okay? <laughs> it's a message. Okay. Leave me your area code because I don't know where you live. Okay. <laughs> and leave your information and I will call you back. And if you want to book me, you can book me there. Uh, you can go on my website at gosistercantaloupe.com. That's gosistercantaloupe.com. That's gosistercantaloupe.com. That's go. That's gosistercantaloupe.com. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for being on the show with us. Yes. We really yes. appreciate it. Thank you. Yes. 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 So thank you, viewers, for joining us, joining with us today on Speak to That, where we give 
Hope to the hopeless. Help to the helpless. And fate to the faithless. All right, yeah. And tooth to the toothless. <laughs> <laughs> That no good wings do hopeless. Speak to that. I lost my man to faithless. Speak to that. I need answers now. Speak to that. Speak to that. Speak to that. Speak to that.